Oh, he drew the frostbolt. Oh, he got a frostbolt, which is... Oh, oh damn, this wow. is game. Wow. Right, <laughs> look it oh, up. No. The salt is real. Yeah, oh, here, here we go. I'm sure oh, man. Oh, isn't that nice? Yeah, he just, he knows it. He knows that he's dead. Like, even to fireball. And he needs to deal 70 damage this turn and deal with Ragnaros at the same time. He would need to somehow deal 5 damage out of 5 mana. I guess he can deal 12 with the hero power and kill command. Oh. He's going for it. Oh, kill command on his that's own. Actually, that's actually pretty Trust good. Two currents. Mm -hmm. How much is it? Is it lethal? Uh, I don't think so. I, I can't count for now. That's exactly oh, it's exactly lethal. Wow. That's, That's pretty sick. If you did not know who that was, that was Raynad. Raynad is one of the best deck builders, one of the best competitive players, and one of the best personalities we've ever seen in the Hearthstone scene. Not only was Raynad all of those in the Hearthstone scene, he was also a huge influence in the esports scene due to his huge team Tempo Storm. But we'll get to that later. Now you might be asking yourself, why would Raynad leave Hearthstone if he had such a big influence and such a big monopoly on the game? Well, this story is pretty awesome. Before getting into Hearthstone, Raynad was extremely good at Magic the Gathering. And not only was he really good, he would go to tournaments and win a bunch of them because he was just that good at card games. Raynad was also extremely good at poker, which means means he made his income from playing magic and poker until his Twitch streaming started to take off. Raynette started streaming Magic the Gathering on Twitch in 2012, but made the switch to Hearthstone after he got banned from playing magic for breaking minor rules and his critique of that decision on social media. Since Raynette was so good at Magic the Gathering and poker, being good at Hearthstone came easy to him. Very soon after playing Hearthstone, he immediately became a high legend streamer and started to build a name for himself in the Hearthstone scene. Not only was Raynette extremely good at Hearthstone, but he was also extremely entertaining. So he started to grow quite a bit, and we can start to see why people would really like to watch Raynad. The average mass of a head is 11 pounds, 5 kilograms. Hmm. I'm reminding you, add you Sarah oh. to my deck. Oh, <laughs> good. Yes. Good save. Good save, Alexa. Raynad was also one of the pioneers in Twitch.tv, one of the first people to use text-to-speech donations, which led to one of the funniest streams you could probably watch. Trump, Amaz, Missin, Abu, long ago, the four Asians streamed together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Force and Boys attacked. Only Raynad, master of all four Kappas, could stop them. Howdy. But when Twitch needed him most, he was too salty. <laughs> now, Raynad was a fantastic streamer, but he was also notorious for his deck building skills. Raynad would create a lot of deck archetypes that were really, really dominant in the early days of Hearthstone, but no deck was like Zoo Warlock. Raynad made Zoo Warlock back in Hearthstone Classic and is one of, if not the best Hearthstone deck to come out of that format. Like most high legend streamers, Raynad also competed in tournaments and did rather well, but did something that no other competitive streamer did at the time. Raynad created his own esports organization called Tempo Storm. My name's Andre, but a lot of you know me as Raynad. I'm also the leader of Team Tempo Storm, which won the first major offline Hearthstone tournament where our teammate Gara went undefeated. The idea of this team was not only to do well in tournaments, but to start building content around the game Hearthstone. Our website brings you straightforward and informative videos from the best players in the game. Stay ahead of the meta with TempoStorm.com. Become legendary. TempoStorm led the way for Hearthstone competitive esports with not only making one of the best competitive teams of all time with Frodan, Gara, Ratsma, Jess Saiyan, Eloise, just to name a few. Tempo Storm was also defining what content should be like in Hearthstone with their meta snapshot, their guides, their tips and tricks, and so much more. Raynad also continued being a part of the Hearthstone competitive team for Tempo Storm and continued streaming for Tempo Storm even though he brought on a whole bunch of responsibility. How much damage do I have? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. It's definitely 27. 19, 20. I count 26, 29, I think. 12, 14, 21, 24. <laughs> yeah, 29 for sure. Basically okay. everything. Okay. One. 29 for sure, right? <laughs> 29 for sure. 29 for sure. Why do you hit it's like okay. that word? It's okay, I'm going to lose it. Like Go face, attack, man. I was thinking one damage off. I, I thought... Uh, say something, then. <laughs> I counted 29. <laughs> 
Tempo Storm was a well-known name in the competitive esports scene for Hearthstone and was always around in tournaments regardless of what the format was because they had something for everything. So not only was Raynad a Hearthstone streamer, a competitive Hearthstone player, he was now running the biggest Hearthstone esports team currently in the scene. But Raynad was an extremely smart guy and realized that he could branch his team out into other gaming categories in order for him to get his team even bigger. There was teams for Heroes of the Storm, Overwatch, Counter-Strike, Super Smash Bros, etc. Even though that took up a bunch of Raynad's time, he was still trying to find ways to stream Hearthstone, even though you can kind of tell that he was not nearly enjoying the game as much as he used to. Raynad started to stream a lot less frequently, and we saw his last competitive Hearthstone tournament being May 5th, 2019. As I mentioned in the Firebat documentary, it is extremely hard to get away from a game that you built your entire fan base around. But Raynad had a lot easier of a time moving to variety content because of how entertaining of a personality he was. We saw him play Magic the Gathering, try IRL streams, try different card games, and still tried to play Hearthstone here and there, but you could definitely tell the saltiness of Hearthstone was starting to get to him. And due to the growth of Tempo Storm, Raynad was no longer worried about his income from streaming Hearthstone. And this allowed Raynad to focus on Tempo Storm and help grow the team, but more importantly, do something that we have not seen another Hearthstone streamer do. Check me. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I've spent countless hours complaining about card games on Twitch. Because card games were such a big part of over half of my life, I feel like I'm uniquely qualified to make a great one. And that's why I'm making my own card game. Raynad on April 6, 2018, announced he was going to make his own card game called The Bazaar. This card game was going to be uniquely catered to what Raynad believed was the perfect way to play a deck building card game. And like he said, he had a ton of experience of playing card games his entire life, so Raynad could probably make something fantastic. And before you ask, the Bazaar has not released yet as the time I'm recording this video, but I'm hopeful that the game will release sometime in 2022. Even though Raynad was making the Bazaar, he still tried to find time to stream and update on what's going on in his life, as well as try to play Hearthstone here and there. But you can clearly tell that he was way more excited about showcasing off what he is creating with the Bazaar and did tech demos on his stream, as well as made an entire new YouTube channel for the game. Now, Raynad hasn't played Hearthstone for a very long time, but he did come back when they released classic Hearthstone to stream a little bit, which was such a joy to see. And this is what makes Raynad's story so inspiring. The idea of just starting to stream to building an esports empire to hopefully building one of the best card games that we'll ever get to play. I also want to mention that if I inspired you to go watch some of Raynad's old highlights, please go do so. This man was a content machine, and I am so glad I got to witness his journey as I was growing up. Raynad, if you ever end up watching this video, I just want to say thank you. Without you, I would have not been in the position I am right now. I remember one of the days I opened up Twitch and you were playing Hearthstone, and that was the first time I've ever heard about the game. So thank you so much, man. I hope you keep on doing great things. I hope Tempo Storm ends up being something that you've always wanted to be. And I personally cannot wait to play the Bazaar as I am someone who backed it when you first announced it. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you ended up liking it, I would really appreciate a subscription and a like. If you like this type of video, there is other ones that you should go watch. And I hope you have a great day. You look fantastic.